Hello, everybody, and welcome to my presentation. Uh, I will present today something uh, I was thinking of for a long time since I'm, um, yeah, since I'm thinking about artificial intelligence uh, as something positive. But as we know, many people are against artificial intelligence since um, we have bad pictures on our mind and head, which um, nearly are not possible to get off our head um yeah but anyways i will talk about today uh, about the uh, good side of artificial intelligence and of course of the bad side um i mean the cons um yeah so going to the next page um to the agenda so first of all as i said cons about artificial intelligence and then i Let's speak about how can we start trusting uh, artificial intelligence. So basically, um, what my first step with uh, Agenda 1 was that um, artificial intelligence has one con, uh, which what I was thinking of was the lack of like data. The problem is when we have that when we have lack of data we are not willing really like there are more it's like i think it's more concerned about lack of data because if we have a lack of data there can be something which was will be misunderstood by the robot so if something will misunderstood by the robot there will be an error or like a mistake so um if for example a, a self-driven car is going down the road and there is, for example, um, a football coming on to the to the street. Then the robot won't stop because it's not on his data. It's not in his in his mind. I would say now, so uh, he wouldn't know. But after the football, there will be coming a kid out of the street, so um, jumping on the street, and then it will might stop. But instead of like. Uh, seeing it forward, you know, um, as we human beings know, that that's something I think which is a big con. Uh, so that's why we need more data for the robot or for like using artificial intelligence. Also, another point would be um, the the um, the big gap of like the gray zone since we don't have a since this is a very very new artificial intelligence and we're just using it right now. It is, uh, I think, really hard to give uh, policies by that and making policies even before they even put out the robot uh, into the market. So I guess this is a big mistake. I think before you even put out a robot, you should like make the policies for it. And um, even when you put out the policies, think about like the gray zones because I think, um, like in any area, we misunderstood the 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 gap we're having, and especially with new things, uh, like for example, online banking, like how they hacked it. I guess if you um, are like willing to invest more in something, like how can people hack it, or how can uh, we like remove the gray zone? um then it would be safer and then uh, i think we could be more comfortable using artificial intelligence so uh coming to the next step how can we trust um or how can we oh, start trusting artificial intelligence so i would say if we put artificial intelligence like for giving uh, it out for normal people like um normal people would be uh, people um, in our daily lives, not really government people or really big companies where they can buy a robot with no problem, but also giving it for normal human beings who are just going to work or just going to the school. So if we make it more visible at schools, at governments, at um, restaurants, at, um, at festivals where just many people are participating, I guess it's like getting more normal that the robot or the artificial intelligence which it's using in our daily lives, it's not so scary as we see in the movies. Yeah. So this would be one one 
point for me. So that's it. Thank you for your attention. Um, and I hope you liked my presentation.